All right, praise God, praise God, man. Uh, you know, forgive me for having all this stuff on right here, uh, but it is freezing outside right now. But um, as you can see, the background, you see the sky, look how beautiful that looks. It's still kind of darkish out here right now. But uh, uh, on my way to work this morning, something interesting began to happen. Uh, you know, it was dark outside and I couldn't really um, see the road that well. And uh, I began to get a little worried. What if I run somebody over? What if I wreck? Or what if this, what if that, what if this, what if that? And it was funny because last night I went to a, a, a Bible studies and uh, with a couple of brothers from Rest Ministries and, and um, uh, some brothers from, um, some brothers that I reconnected with, uh, Richard Firo and Andrew Contreras. And we were over there and, we, and, and for the last two days, we've been having these Bible studies that have been lasting until midnight. And it's really interesting. I'm talking four hours or three hours. I'm talking about getting in there and, and letting the, the Lord just um, have his way. You know what I mean? Not really putting a time frame to anything, but allowing the Holy Spirit to move us. And a lot of interesting things has been coming out and happening. I mean, testifying. And, and I mean, it's really, really awesome what's been happening. But this morning I woke up. Yesterday, some of the, some, the Bible study at the beginning was about worry and stuff. So this morning, you know, I had that on my heart. But... The enemy, lo and behold, never sleeps, never slumbers. He's always trying to come at, come and trying to uh, discourage and, and distract, you know, the saints. But right now, man, check this out, man. Uh, you know, on the way to work, I couldn't see well as I was saying. And, uh, you know, I was freezing and, and all that. But I noticed that worry began to creep into my head. And I was like, oh, this man was... And in the middle of everything, I said, you know what, Lord? I know that you are with me. I know that you have called me and I know that nothing is going to be um, over until you say so and nothing is going to come against me unless you say so unless you allow it and then a sense of peace came over me and uh, I get to work and I you know I'm waiting for uh, these guys to pump out some water and stuff like that so I found a little window of time and as I was waiting I put on my little worship music and I began to just seek the Lord uh, this morning for today a fresh piece of bread for today you know what I mean? A fresh piece of manna, so to speak. <laughs> but um, as I was saying, um, I began to check out this scripture. And the Lord put this on my heart. So let me just read it. Uh, I'm reading out of the Gideon Bible because it's the only Bible I have here at work right now. But nevertheless, um, if you guys have your own Bible or whatever, um, King James Version or whatnot, <coughs> go ahead and check that out. But real quick, I just want to read some verses real quick. It's kind of... Um, like 14 verses or whatnot, but pay close attention to what God is saying here. It says Colossians chapter three. It says, it says, uh, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things that are above, not on the things on earth. Set your mind. You have died with your life. You have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you. Sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. And these you too once walked when you were living in them. We've all experienced these things. But now you must put on, now we must put on. Put them all away. Now we must put them all away. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices. And have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, Bearing with one another, bearing with one another. 
bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Okay, I don't want to get too crazy into this right now, but I'm excited because right here it's saying, at the very beginning it's saying, if you, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek those things which are above. So if we're calling ourselves Christians, we must not focus and, 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 and gaze upon these things that we see here on earth. Because we look at and we see struggles, we see financial problems, we see people trying to smut us up, talking about us behind our backs. Uh, we see all these different things that are the works of the enemy. So if we look at those things, then, then we are not setting our mind on those things that are above, but we are setting those, our mind on these things that are on earth. These things that the enemy is working through. So if we continue to focus on our money problems or our issues of life, whatever struggles that might be coming against us at this very moment and very season of our life, then... We are being distracted and we are being led astray in our minds. You know what I'm saying? And the battlefield is right here. So what we must do is in verse 2, it starts off by saying set. So it takes effort. It takes uh, intent. It takes, you know what I'm saying? You have to say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to look at these things, but I'm going to look at these things. I'm going to put my mind and I'm going to set my mind on those things that are heavenly. I'm going to keep my mind fixed on Jesus Christ. And as we go about speaking about Jesus Christ, um, preaching about Jesus Christ and what he has done for us and looking at his life and as an example. That way, when we step into ministry, we can be led and guided by what he has done already because everything is already done. All we're doing is following in the footsteps that he laid before us. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing new under the sun. He already did it. You know what I'm saying? We are trying to catch up with him. Praise God. So right now, man, I just want to encourage you guys. And right here, I like this verse. It says, put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Right now, it's a season that we must stand still and be patient and know that the Lord is moving. And when he tells us to step, we step. When he tells us to stay, we stay. We have to be obedient because, you know, we like to run off and do things on our own. We get excited and, and whatnot. And that's been happening to me a lot lately. But God has been telling me to be quiet, stand still, and praise God that he's been bringing me around these men that are filled with the Holy Spirit. And we've been meeting in these houses and we've been coming together and some awesome things are about to take place, man. So I just encourage you guys, man, to get on board with what the Holy Spirit is speaking. You know what I'm saying? If you have not been filled with the Holy Spirit yet, man, seek God, seek Christ, and he will fulfill whatever it is that he wants for your life. And his will will be done. And his will is all in the word of God. And you'll see it right then and there, man. But right now, I just want to encourage you guys, man, that we need to be in perfect harmony. And the only way that we're able to be in perfect harmony is if we exercise love, if we follow Jesus Christ and we be obedient to what the scriptures say. You know, I mean, it's awesome right now, man. If you go read the book of Acts right now, we've been a lot of stuff been coming and hitting us from the book of Acts. And in the book of Acts, it talks about how they gathered in homes and how they broke bread and how they showed love and, and they were there for, there was no one in need, you know what I'm saying? And I believe that that is a picture of what the church is supposed to be like because that's what the conversation has been lately. And it's awesome, man. You know, God has been surrounding me with some awesome men and I just praise God for that because I know that God is in the midst. I know that Jesus is right here with us right now, man. I know from even just standing here right now, you know, I should not be here, you know what I'm saying? But I am because God said so, amen. Man, so whatever God says so, and no one else can do it. Whatever door He opens, no man can close. Amen. So right now, I just want to encourage you that if you're going through something, praise God because He's allowed it. He's allowed you to go through whatever it is that you're going through to get your attention, to take your eyes off those things that are distracting you in this earth. He wants you to say, you know what? Forget it. I don't want this. I don't want that. I mean, not to say that we don't want that and all these things, but to say they're not important to us compared to Jesus Christ. Amen. Because we need to keep our eyes fixed on the one thing that matters, and that's Jesus. And some of us has been led astray. We put our wives first. We put our children first. We put the finances first. We even put sometimes ministry first. Like we're over here trying to do all these things and create all these things for the kingdom of God. But yet Christ is not in it. And Christ is saying, hold up. I got to be in the middle of it because that's the only way things flow, right? 
so amen praise god for that word right there because that is for me as well man we all must come together with one accord you know what i'm saying and let the holy spirit fall continuously and fill us and give us the vision give us the know-how give us the guidance the understanding you know what i'm saying because in the bible it says my people there's two scriptures that i like in the bible and i'm not exactly sure i know ones are like in hosea chapter 4 verse 6 somewhere where my people are destroyed for lack of vision or my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge amen so let's just get in the word let's devour the word man right now you might be waking up and you might be wanting to go get you some eggs and bacon or a breakfast burrito somewhere well go to the word of god first and seek and fill your spirit with the spiritual food that we need as soldiers as warriors in the last days man we need it man we need to step up and stand out and fight you know what i'm saying and the way we fight is with the truth you know what i'm saying the truth of the word of god you know what I'm saying? So, uh, praise God, man. You guys have a good day. I got to get my butt back to work. But uh, you guys enjoy your day, man. Wake up. Get into the word and set your mind on those things that are above. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I love you guys and I thank you for your time. I thank you and I just praise. I pray that someone is getting blessed today in Jesus' name. Amen.